Today, we are gonna take a look at Mini GPT-4 and what exactly does Mini GPT do? Well, it's definitely not a smaller version of ChatGPT. It is essentially ChatGPT with eyeballs. What do I mean? Stay tuned till the end to see exactly how it works. So let's take a look and real quick, let's just give some credit to the people who are behind this and this is all of their links and there is a demo we can actually see mini GPT-4 in action. So in short, how does it work? Basically, instead of a typical chat GPT where you type in a prompt and then it does a bunch of AI in the background and gives you an answer, instead, you go ahead and upload an image and then you can ask it to do whatever you want regarding the image that you uploaded. So let us do an example. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick just some random image I have on my computer and then we can go ahead and play around with it. So here is a image, well essentially images I created from Mid Journey. So these are obviously not real and it's basically robots and just some weird faces on them. But here I have this, so let's go ahead and click upload and start the chat. So now what it's going to do is it's going to take a look at this and right now currently this is getting high demand so it's like the other text image uh, prompt video generator where it took ages literally forever to generate a result so a workaround is they actually have multiple links here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to upload that same exact image to a different link and we'll see if we have any better luck so here it managed to finish loading on one of the other links however you can see from the first one on the main website it is still currently loading so just use one of the other links if you want to test this out now here is what the magic of mini gpt4 can do so you're probably wondering so what you upload an image now what well first off let's see if it can understand what this image is so i'm gonna say describe this image and I'm gonna press enter and then watch the results as this goes out. And currently it is still slightly slower obviously than ChatGPT, but once we get a response, I'll show you what it says. So here is a image description and let's take a look at it. It says a large futuristic robot with a metallic body, large spiked arms, and appears standing on a rocky terrain with a car in the background, okay. Looks like it's quite accurate so far. We have the robot health is head is tilted as if it's looking at the car and robot's body is covered in various mechanical parts and wires and has a futuristic appearance and let's see overall scheme of the image is dark muted with robot and car sending out and so far i mean it's pretty accurate so you're probably thinking cool whatever it just described this image that's not that crazy well in reality this is just one of the features. And right now it's fairly slow in terms of the response rate. So we're actually gonna go back to the main site to look at some additional powerful things that this mini GPT can do that is significantly more impressive than just describing the image. But just in general, the ability to actually scan this image and describe it to a almost fairly accurate measure and the fact that it has four different images too, which I didn't even, tell it it just knew that there's four different uh characters in here it was still quite accurate so now here is their main website again we're back on the main one and basically this is a little short paragraph showcasing what it really is about and to summarize it essentially is just focusing on some aspects that are regarding chat gpt or essentially gpt4s uh, and basically it's focusing more on the visual capabilities and Let's take a look at this video presentation. So this also, they have this video on YouTube and let's just go ahead and click here. And let me just, yeah, just let you guys watch this. And for example, here, this is a picture of a leaf and it has little faded marks on it. And it's asking the issue with the plant and what I should do now. So it has literally solutions for that. Another is this image of a cactus and it looks like it's on ice. So it's very similar to what we just showed earlier. And then asking another prompt, can this happen in the real world? And saying, no, it is probably not common. Another one is they have these mugs and this one's to write an advertisement. So this is actually quite impressive, especially in the marketing space, how you could make this 
image and then boom you have a full copyright written for you another thing is how should i make something like this this looks like a picture of lobsters and it is cooked and you can see a full on recipe that looks probably very accurate now this this is probably the most impressive part that i've seen so far his ability to literally write out code based off of a image now this again this is very basic obviously the website looks you know super super simple but i'll go more details about that later and then another write a poem with this image so again this is literally a dog man sitting on the sunsets and boom you just have a full-on poem just like that and here again identification recognition it can tell that's elon musk and then basically here is vicuna and then it goes through all these different layers and this is essentially the architecture of mini gbt4 and basically you guys can deep dive into this but i want to show you more examples so the video is quite fast so we can't really see exactly what happened but here take a look at this think of the industries how beneficial there's going to be imagine you're in a company and you have to promote something it's a flyer for an event or you have a product or you have a who knows what you have simply upload this image boom have full-on copy aka text written for you just like a chat gbt style except the difference is at least today you can't upload images to chat gbt and have it write a response with the mini gbt current setup that is literally going to make life so much easier for a lot of people another thing is the website i was talking about this this is crazy because this is just the beginning right there's obviously there's ai there's code that you could get from ChatGPT and other uh, AI softwares. And obviously you, this website code isn't, you know, the greatest. It's just basic uh, HTML. But imagine in the future, you could upload a, a website that you liked. You take a little screenshot of it. And then you're like, hey, make me a website just like this, but better. And then boom, spits out code. Next thing you know it, programmers, a lot of tech industry people are going to be in trouble and that is not going to be good obviously for that space however the innovation this is going to create and the productivity is going to be game changing so here's another example and this is looks like a toucan with a light bulb hanging from its mouth now if you've never written any copywriting for uh sales or e-commerce style products or just in general then this is showcasing an example you could either reference get inspiration from or just straight up use yourself and let's take a look at it to see if it's even legit if it's any good and let's take a look are you looking for a unique and stylish lighting solution for your home or office look no further than our brass toucan lamp and it's really crafted bird lamp it should add a touch of whimsy and charm to any room so that's the general and obviously it sounds you know over the top however the fact that it one can identify what it is two create a somewhat logically sounding response that in general if you were to tell this to somebody it sounds like you know something someone could have easily created themselves to promote this product so in terms of the logic it seems like it's fairly accurate and it actually makes somewhat sense let's look at some more examples here this is the uh picture of some ramen looks like some type of soup and how should i or how should i do to cook this and i should the <laughs> the question but anyways looks like ramen and basically looks like the ingredients are fairly accurate and it has exact step-by-step -step process now this this people don't they might look at this thing okay cool whatever cool ramen i could probably make that but in reality there's have you ever watched something or you saw something on instagram or social media and you're like man that looks so good what is that how can i make that or take that outside of the food industry and look at it from who knows uh fashion you ever see clothing or shoes or even cars you ever seen a car you're like man what is that car where do i get this or insert anything you want to find information on and then have it find exactly what it is step by step or whatever parts it is for example let's say you have this cool car you saw and you say how do i build something like this myself and then next thing you know it says get this part get this part get this part i mean these the examples that you could create from this would be endless and again these are still early stages of this type of software so just imagine 
in the next year or two how advanced this stuff's going to be. And let's get some more examples. Like, so we got two back to back. All right, so this one describes image as detail as possible, and it's yeah, it's description is pair fairly actually accurate, and it can tell in the background the um, lyrics are in Chinese. So th this can already translate, or at least identify writing. And if someone does speak Chinese, can confirm. But I would say it probably is based off of this um, AI I being able to even confirm what it is. And then we have this other one. This is The Godfather and is asking for a short introduction to this movie. And basically it knows exactly what the movie is about and it can tell exact explanation. Obviously there's you know a lot of blog posts and information regarding this movie, but the fact that it can recognize it from the scene means one, it's taking data from the internet and putting it into the software. So this one, give a detailed introduction to this painting and also the artist. So here, this is kind of kind of crazy actually. The fact that it can identify the artist just based off the painting, which means the database that this is using to get its information is obviously quite big. And two is, is it accurate? Well, as of today, it seems like the examples are quite accurate, but again, you never know. Now this one's interesting. I don't know how many people have had an issue with whatever problem. This obviously it doesn't have to be like laundry related, but just think your sink is broken, the toilet's messed up, the faucet, the shower, there's a crack in the wall of your ceiling, your floor broke, whatever it is, your car's not working. Imagine you could take a picture, boom, it gives you a full on step-by-step -step instruction and let's add on top of that, let's say for example, it's something that is a technical, somebody is like, let's say for a mechanic, for example, imagine there's an AI, and this is just one like, you know, example regarding this, but you take a picture of your car, the AI knows exactly the problem with the car right away. It sends it to a mechanic and then boom, it basically gives them the number, whatever, and then the funnels all the way to their location and the next thing you know it, the mechanic comes and fix your car. I'm mean, just hypothetical, but just think about that in any industry or even a plumber. You send, you know, your faucet picture to the AI. It tells exact reasons why it's broken. And then it gives you links to nearby plumbers. They fix your thing. Boom, bam, life's good. Again, the possibilities for this stuff, man, it's going to change the game for a lot of industries. And that's just stuff I'm thinking off the top of my head, but I could see this stuff being significantly more crazy than it really is. So these are just some examples of the capabilities of Mini GPT-4. So do share your thoughts on this in the comments below. And if you wanna see the latest updates in the AI space,